All right, welcome back to GamecocksOnline.com. Corey Burkhardt here at the Carolina Tennis Center with new women's tennis head coach, Kevin Epley. Coach, you've been here for just over two months. Talk about your transition joining in to the Gamecock family. Uh, well, I've been in college tennis before, so I kind of knew what to expect, at least from uh, getting into Division One athletics again. Uh, I've, been on, I've been traveling for about four years, so getting uh, adjusted to being in one place. Uh, I've, living in uh, South Carolina is new for me, although I came here as a kid. Uh, but I'm really excited to be in the SEC. Uh, came back here <coughs> to a, uh, unbelievable facilities that uh, were put up, I guess, beginning of, la beginning of this year. The new Doty in the background there, the academic support and our building, just been an incredible uh, <coughs> adjustment to the facilities. and. Uh, it's just been a great experience so far. Yeah, you mentioned getting used to the facilities, the, the Doty Academic Enrichment Center, the new Rice Athletic Center, of course, the Carolina Tennis Center, brand new last year. Um, talk about your transition over the summer. While you were not only learning about Carolina, you also had to learn about your team. You had some players who were here in town, some who were out of town. Talk about that experience and, and what you knew about your team coming into this first week of practice. Well, coming into the first week, uh, I didn't really know that much about the team. Uh, I knew that they're a, a good team. They've had a good history here. Arlo and Kat have done a great job recruiting and have been very competitive for years here in the SEC. So stepping into their shoes I knew was going to be a big step carrying on that tradition. Um, this is the fourth program I've been a, a part of in terms of opening up, actually third, a, a starting a program. So I wanted to come in and give them the chance to get used to a new culture and sort of walk them through getting used to a new culture because it's a big adjustment for them. And didn't I really wanted to give everybody a fair shake and uh, not scare them away in the first in the first day of practice, and they've done a remarkable job, quite frankly, in, in a week and a half that we've been together, adjusting to a new culture. And you know I'm tell, I'm working them hard, and they're staying with me every step of the way so far. So we got a, a lot of foreign players on the team, brought in a, a couple Americans to kind of mix that up a little bit, and uh, so far so good. I feel like. Uh, this team has a lot of improvement uh, ahead of it, and I think we will surprise some people. One thing you did uh, throughout practice today, it was a lot of verbal communication, a lot of different drills and stations where you were showing them techniques and things you want to see out of them. What were some of the other goals and expectations that you set for them as you guys were talking today through this first practice? Well, you know, the very first week, we're, we're, we worked only on culture, and today we changed the word culture to character. So basically what we're doing is, is trying to identify who we are as a team and that expression coming out every time we're on the court. Fighting for every ball, running down everything, no bailing, meaning no missed shots to get out of a drill. Um, encouragement, energy. You probably noticed that the energy was really high for the first 20 minutes. Really trying to establish a, a culture in terms of support as far as the team goes. And, you know, as we travel around the country, people will see that energy and know that, that we're about uh, <clears throat> um, working hard, excitement, and excitement for the game and supporting each other. As far as today goes, you know, coming into a new program, you have to really sort of lay down the foundation. So a lot of this semester, we're laying down a lot of foundations. And today we were really focusing on a foundational concept for doubles. And uh, I got to go slow. I think I always started getting too fast, getting ahead of them, trying to get it all in. But uh, today was a lot of verbal communication. I would expect throughout this semester there'll be a lot of that. Um, a year down the line, two years down the line, when they're familiar with my system, they can sort of communicate these things to to the new coming players as well. But for for now, we're just just trying to teach them my system. As you look at, obviously it's a long ways away from competition time, but eventually you're going to have to fill out a, a one through six singles rotation and then your doubles teams. None of that's going to happen here in this first week of practice, but what are the goals, the things you want to see out of this group during this first week of practice as you try to set the tone for what's going to be a, a really exciting fall semester for your team? Well, for me, you know, we're in the SEC. I asked them on the first day of practice, Florida won the national championship last year. Why'd they win it? And to a person, they said because they were in incredible shape, and they fought for every ball. And I, and that's essentially a, why can't we do that? That's a controllable variable. We can get ourselves in shape. We can fight for any, every ball. It's a matter of character. You know, I asked them today what <clears throat> the same exact question. Uh, if you want to define yourself as a team, who are you gonna who are you gonna be as a team? And that's what they talked about: character, fighting hard. But I asked them, do you think Auburn's saying the same thing? 
if they had the first day of practice at Auburn or Alabama or, or LSU, they're all saying the exact same thing. So it's relative to the teams you're competing against. And my point is that we should be competing harder than they are. We should be the hardest competing team in the SEC. Does it mean we're going to win every match? No, but as far as our character goes, as far as what we stand for, we have total control over that, and that's what I'm trying to establish real early on here. All right, well, Coach, we are very excited to have you. I know Gamecock Nation is excited to have you. The rest of the athletic staff, Coach Tanner, excited to have you on board. We look forward to checking back with you uh, later on over the fall semester. Thank you very much. I really All appreciate it. All right. At the Carolina Tennis Center, Corey Burkharth for GameCoxOnline.com. We'll see you soon.